Think about those words. Unbind him and let him go. So you can see the stained glass window that we have here. And the donor and I worked, had several conversations with the person who designed this window to be true to the text. Uh, we worked with him to make sure that the cave was the right kind of cave. It wasn't like a mausoleum that you see in a cemetery. Um, we have Lazarus uh, coming out, wrapped in the bind, in the linens. And then we have uh, people around him. So I want us to think about when Jesus says, take away the stone and then unbind and let him go. In our lives and in our friends, colleagues, whoever it may be, me, we all have places in our lives where the stone needs to be taken away. We also have times in our lives when we need to be unbound and friends and family and whoever, even strangers that we see, we realize that they are bound up because some kind of infirmity in their lives, some emotional situation, some physical situation, some spiritual situation, that they need to be unbound. And with Christ's resurrection, we are called to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And through this story, Jesus is telling us, as he told those persons gathered at the tomb, unbind him and set him free. Think about in our own lives, those situations, those hurdles, whatever it may be, that bind us up. They bring us down. But Jesus is saying, thank goodness. We have this community of faith called Doolin Church of persons that are in person and persons that are with us live streaming together that we can pray for one another that we can pray for ourselves, that we can pray for our community to be unbound and to be set free. That's good news. I was thinking this week about we went and worked on the Easter letter uh, for, this, uh, for this Easter coming up, and we look at supporting five different groups and I was reviewing those groups this week about we are helping people that are bound in their lives and through our giving, we are setting them free. I think about groups like Free Minds Book Club where persons have been bound up as incarcerated they have now been set free, but as they try to navigate the society again, they are very bound up. And yet through a ministry like Free Minds Book Club that we support yearly and with our Easter offering, we are setting them free. Unbind him and set him free. I think about the ministry that we support of Homestretch. And a group of us went to, um, they had a, a, a dinner for faith communities that support Homestretch. And they said, without faith communities, Homestretch would not be possible to continue. And they had persons witness, women, about physical abuse, emotional abuse in their lives. They were bound up and needed to be set free. And it was through putting our dollars at work with Homestretch that hundreds of women and men and children are set free to live lives like you and I can live. So others may eat. Persons that are living in poverty that just can't get out of poverty, they are bound up and know how to get out. And through our support, they are set free. And friends, being set free is messy. 
Think about these souls when Lazarus came out. Smelly Lazarus. Strips of linen wrapped all around him and they had to unbind him in all these different ways and they probably got those linens and bodily fluids all over their hands and their bodies. It was a mess. Life is a mess. But through Jesus Christ, we set people free. Do I see an amen for that, friends? Amen, yes. In our own lives, <laughs> we have areas that we don't want to talk about where we need to be set free. What did Jesus do before he performed this miracle? He prayed to God. Through our daily prayer and devotion, we can ask God to set us free from these aspects of our lives that just bind us, that just wrap us up, that get tighter and tighter and tighter until we're about to break. And God will set us free. So I hope that all of us live streamers, in person, will think about how our money is put to work. And remember those words of Jesus. Unbind them and set them free. And that, my friends, is the good news. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and we all say together, Amen. Amen.